Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alam Musbah, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology Faculty of Medicine, Mansoura University. Today we are going to discuss some obstetric clinical questions and do some comments on them. Okay, let us start with the first question. Identify this maneuver and its indication. Lock to this picture, please. In this picture, this maneuver is Macrobert position. Macrobert position is done by extreme flexion of the side toward the woman abdomen in cases with shoulder distortion. So the indication is shoulder distortion, delivery of the head with difficulty to deliver the shoulder. So we are using Macrobert position. Another thing important here in this picture is the suprapubic pressure. So we are doing Macrobert position and suprapubic pressure. One is the Macrobert position, two is the suprapubic pressure, what is called the Rubin one maneuver. So this is the answer of this maneuver, Macrobert position and the suprapubic pressure and what is the indication? It is indicated in shoulder distortion. Okay? Okay. My comment, this is the complete answer right now, but my comment, why we are doing macrobert position in shoulder distortion? I have a difficulty to deliver the shoulder, so I want to increase the surface area of the pelvic inlet so with with macrobert position with extreme flexion of the side over the abdomen and the abduction there is flattening of the lumbar vertebra and sacral promontory increasing the distance of the of the pelvic inlet and the anteroposterior diameter so this position increase the surface area of pelvic L allowing the shoulder to pass through the pelvis so increasing the pelvic capacity also pushing the sacrum backward so increasing giving more space more space for the descent of the shoulder this is the aim of macrobert position Another question, do comment on presentation, position, and engagement in this picture. Okay, as regard to presentation, this is cephalic presentation, vertex. Okay, so this is cephalic, and which type of cephalic presentation? Vertex presentation. Okay, what is the position? To say the position, you should know the right from the left. The right is the right side of the mother and the left is the left side of the mother. So the, the right side is here, the left side is here. So where, what is the denominator here? It's the occiput. Where is the direction of the occiput? The occiput is directed transverse toward the left side of the mother. So this is left occipital transverse, left, left occipital transverse. Okay, this is the position. What about engagement? Engagement will happen if the lower most part of the vault reaching the level of the ischial spine, which is station zero. And this is the ischial spine. Of course, it doesn't reach the station zero, so this head is not engaged. Is not engaged. So, if the lowermost part of the presenting part reaching the level of the ischial spine, it is engagement. And the definition of engagement, by the way, is a passage of transfer, widest transverse diameter of the presenting part through the plane of pelvic area. And when this happens, the lowermost part will reaching level of ischial spine, which is station zero. Okay? So, the answer of this question will be 
cephalic vertex presentation, left occipital transverse, and the head is not engaged. Another question, identify this maneuver and dimension two possible complications. Look to this picture. This is the uterus. This is the placenta. And this is the umbilical cord. There is traction of the cord here and there is suprapubic pressure or upward pressure on the uterus. A while downward traction on the cord where there is counter traction. This is called the branded and maneuver to deliver the retained placenta. Or you can say controlled cord traction. Why controlled cord traction? Because it must be done during uterine contraction, gentle downward cord traction, and while the uterus is contracted. This is called the branded Anders maneuver. What is the two possible complications? One of them is very important. Is the inversion of the uterus if the placenta is fundal and the maneuver is done while the uterus is relaxed. And this is wrong, of course, because you should be careful that to do the maneuver, the uterus should be contracted. If the uterus is relaxed while you are doing traction on the cord, inversion of the uterus may happen, acute inversion of the uterus. What is the other complication? Retain the part of the placenta, remnant part of the placenta. What other complication? Avulsion of the cord. So, to mention two possible complications like acute inversion of the uterus, avulsion of the cord, or retain the part of the placenta. And the first part of the question, what is the maneuver? It is controlled cord traction to deliver a retained placenta or what's called branded Andrews maneuver. Another question, identify this maneuver and its aim. Look to this picture, please. This is cephalic vertex presentation and the doctor here is doing obstetric grip. Which one? This is the second velvet grip. Both hands over the abdomen, moving downward, forward, and medially, trying to feel the sense of it and the oxygen. Okay? So, what is the maneuver? This is the second velvet grip. What is the aim? To identify fetal head attitude, whether flexed, deflexed, or extended. So this is the complete answer, okay? The aim of this maneuver to detect the fetal head or identify the fetal head attitude. How can I identify fetal head attitude? By feeling the sense foot and the ox foot by the other hand. If the sense foot is higher than the ox foot, the head will flex it. If the sun's foot and the ox foot at the same level, this is deflexed head. If the sun's foot is lower down than the ox foot, so it is extended head. Okay? But in this case, the sun's foot is higher. So the head, the this is a vertex with flexed head. So, what, this is what is meant by the aim of second velvet grip, to know the fetal head attitude. Of course, you are not in need to explain more, but I give some comment for you to understand. Okay. Identify this maneuver and its aim. Look to this picture, please. This is a preacher presentation, and here is a maneuver of external cephalic version trying to rotate the head downward while pushing the buttocks upward okay to change the presentation from being a breach to be cephalic presentation this is 
the aim. So the maneuver is external cephalic version, and the aim is to change the presentation from being a breach to be cephalic, to give a chance for the patient for vaginal delivery, and to minimize the need for cesarean section. Okay. Another picture identifies this fetal presentation and the maneuver done. Here, fetal presentation is frank breach presentation. And be accurate. Don't say just the breach presentation. But look, if it is complete breach, if it is frank breach, and so on. This is frank breach because the legs are extended so this is frank breach presentation and what is the maneuver done during labor here in this picture is groin traction bilateral groin traction to help the center of the buttocks and the legs okay this is the last question thank you i'm dr alam professor of obstetrics and gynecology faculty of medicine and so that